and we can just start. Um, hey, YouTubes, I'm Grimwit. Uh, with me is Doomlad. This is Spectacle. Howdy. So, I see a very conspicuous cave here. I know it's, it's probably not some. The cave leads back to the ridge. Ah. Uh. Huh. This seems to be just a transitionary place. Yeah. Is there going to be a monster reference when I go through this? Okay, there isn't. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think DC mentioned this. No. No, that isn't going to work. Yeah. Huh. So we got the blue key, I think, from the chest. We got this. <clears throat> I mean, pardon me. Oof. We got the uh, the red key from the or the, yeah, we got the red key from the uh, the little packet. Not the one with the coins, but the one with the uh, the vizier scroll. <coughs> and we got the gold key from the sun. Yep. This is the only thing left. I wonder. We have the ability to retrieve things with the rock now. I mean, the falcon. Yep. What's left other than this place? Um, we figured out the sun ritual. Figured out the bottle. Figured out the fruit twice. Yep. Figured out the levers. I got nothing. Where? What's left other than this and the gate? Uh, we've got the gate that we don't know how to get through, and we have the tower where there's that spot where we don't have rope to get down. Which might just or be a, a flying trap. spell. It could be. We could try sending uh, the falcon down there. Oh! And we have the mysterious meteorite chunk. Yes. Which we went through so much trouble to get, it's got to be useful for something. Huh. Go in here real quick. I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's go ahead and send the Falcon into the trap door. <laughs> no, that doesn't do anything. Yep. What about taking the meteor trunk and throwing it downstairs? No, that doesn't work. Yep. We still don't know what to do with the Blothany gem. That's another thing. Yeah. Hmm. What else? Oh, we got the lantern that we don't know what to do with. Oh, yeah. That could be for just down that hole once we get a rope or something. Or maybe we could just use it now. Fancy bronze lantern, not for fire, but rather has small holes to allow light to escape. It's meant to cover something. It's 
So now the mysteries aren't places, but objects. Yep. We have some objects that we work pretty hard to get. And we don't know why. Mm-hmm. What is this? Okay. It took me 30 minutes to climb those ladders. <laughs> I got nothing, man. Yeah, me either. So, the gate, I feel like, and I might be wrong, that gate is like the last area. And I think I feel that way because it seems to have the final key involved here. I had to reboot the fucking Comcast box. Ah, all you had to do is say Comcast and we would have understood. <laughs> we have these these fireflies, right? Yeah. Wasn't there also... Send the rock after them? Huh. No, no, that's... Wait, no, it didn't. It's still there. It's supposed to have flown away, but it didn't. I think I found a glitch. <laughs> now that it's paralyzed with fear... Okay, now it's gone. <clears throat> okay, we have this again. And it has like, it has like stars and different colors on it, as if it were mimicking the, uh, the night sky. Yep. What if we left and came back as the stars rose, right? Much of our stuff goes by, like, that orange star under the moon. Hmm, maybe not this time. Yep. I don't know. It might be a coincidence, but I see orange, blue, green, and red on this m meteorite is all. Yeah. I don't remember a green star, though. Yeah. We have used a green gem before. That's about a, the only connection I can think of. Oh, do you want to try using the two gems we have on the meteor? That's See not if a... they fit into those two holes. We might have to wait until daytime. But yeah, sure. That doesn't work. We also have the sacred bow. Don't know what that does. Yep. I just saw the yellow star for just a moment. Mystery of mysteries. Um... How many of those birds have we seen? We saw a black one to the north side. Yep. 
We've now seen a yellow one on the south side. Have we seen like a red one or a green one? I feel like we've seen a red one somewhere. But the uh, the black one was on the compass, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, you want to try walking around and see if we find any? Let's go to the north side again. I can't think of anything else down here. Because, like, the yep. rest of it is just try things on the statue until something works, but I can't think of anything. That, went, that got us over instantly. I think that was even a 30 minute uh, run. There's another goddamn fruit. <laughs> well, I want that fruit. Will it come in hand later? I don't know. Oh, you've given to the beast. You can try one yourself. Oh, yeah. This isn't what you need right now. Aw. <laughs> huh. Wow. That, yeah, that firefly just left without saying anything. Not even so much as a ye claw. Uh, okay, we're going back in. Also, I noticed this rug. I guess the rug is nothing. Okay, so we got it here, right? Maybe. No, we got the lantern here. I'm just seeing... Oh, if... yes. I was just seeing if there's any kind of clue. Small holes to allow a light to escape. Also, I don't remember seeing any keyholes around here. No new spells? Yeah. Everything's pretty direct here. Don't know what I would do with that, uh, with those gears. Like, I've got no reason to shove something in there and stop them. But now that's, that's again, that's that desperation move. Yeah. Are these flowers? I guess it's not gonna recognize it as, as detail. Yeah. Let me see, let me think. It also feels like I could go this way. But it's not yeah. allowing me that option. Oh, hey, that's the same kind of flowers you had on the outside of the monastery. Or yeah. red leafy plant, or whatever it is. I recognize it, too. Lower balcony area rests upon the water's edge. It overlooks a vast sea. This mural is all, like, damaged off of it or whatever. Yep. Man, 
I was hoping this was a circus thing. I like circuses. Yep. Oh, I see. Yeah, you went in hoping to get seduced by a clown, but that's not what happened. Not at all. Just like always, the clowns betray me. I think there's only one answer. You've got to punish Binky. Yeah. Those, that clown betrays me too. Um, shit, man. Um, I got no direction. I got no clues. I have this, a golden key with a mirror shine, but no mirror to put it into. We got yep. a strange cosmos gem, which I had taken to be the next step in like the king's tomb cuz all the clues say that that's what you use to get into the tomb there's a black yep. bird so i haven't seen a red bird yet yep so we've only seen the black one and the yellow one i feel like there was a red one somewhere though I'm trying to remember, but it's not coming to me. Yeah. What happens if you try to go into the tomb? How do you get into the tomb? Yeah, it just like, looks like a bus shelter. Yeah. Not much of a tomb, if you ask me. Yep. Let it's me... gonna be funny if we look it up and it's like, oh, yeah, they were effectively uh, travel shelters. People well, thought were actually tombs. See, it actually says though, Baldachin tomb. Yep. It's a vacant, vacant structure. So I get the feeling we have to put something in his hand, right? Yeah. My immediate thought was to use the Blothamy gem on his hand, but it won't do it. Yep. Then there and was. We got rid of that hooked thing once we uh, used it to get the bottle. Yeah, I don't know why we did that. They put the bottle in it. Get him drunk. Empty glass bottle. No. <laughs> have you tried the sacred bow? I feel like I have multiple times. Yeah, we have. Now the sacred bow that could also be a uh, uh, red herring, and I say that because getting the sacred bow we didn't have to go through a whole lot of steps to get it. Like the meteor shard that took ages to get. No. Actually, I have an idea. What time is it? It was kind of, it was kind of funny because the meteor shard we we're just like all right let's go up there. Let's change the time of it, and boom, we got it. Yeah. Right now, the meteor shard is hot. But when the sun rises, it's not. Yep. So let's just do this until it's not hot anymore. And then, yeah, it's not hot anymore. All right. Try using the Blossomy gem on it. Not what you need right now. What yeah. was the other piece? Oh yeah, the Meteor Shard. Okay, so no. Take the meteor. Take this little piece of meteor right there. Um? It always feels this way. 
I'm starting to notice that that is the pattern of this game. Complete hopeless confusion, followed by a series of, oh my god, of course that's the answer. Yep. Let me take a look at this like, sacred bow. Petrified, sturdy appendage of an ancient tree. Luke, curiously carved from what seems to be a type of gourd. Worn down shovel, but still usable. What was scroll three? Been honored to safe crown the greatest treasure of our king has in his beloved lamp. It's well hidden, garden with the utmost measure, a place wrought with pure darkness and sentineled by an apparition with a lust for wind that shall snuff out any flame and give pause to all. But the one who whom dons the king's sacred mantle. Okay, so that's why I need to get into the king's shelter, right? I'm starting to see this. I get into the tomb, yep. steal the king's crown. Uh, I somehow collect fireflies in my bottle. And then I go to wherever this darkness is. I wear the crown. Gem with the lantern, maybe. That's not a bad idea. There's a problem, though. There is a problem. If I use the gym and I switch pages, um, yeah. Yep. If they're on two different pages, I can't use them on each other, which is a real, that's, that's quite the, um. Yeah, I think you're not supposed to use inventory items on each other or something. That, you get that feeling. Because if it's on the same page, you can use them with each other. hidden jewel is how we deal with this guy. I don't know how. Using the Blothany's gem is how we deal with this guy. Huh. I don't know if time of day has anything to do with it either. It doesn't seem like it. But it does have, like, the cosmos in it. What could that mean? Can we set the gem on the ground? What about in the tomb? Not on the guy. Not on his pants, yep. I guess. Okay, it's morning. We found the gym here. Yep. I'm afraid to ask for uh, hints. Because <laughs> there's no hints. There's no text walkthrough for this game. It's just... Right. Like, you'd look up a YouTube video, and the video just shows you what to do without explaining how they got the answer. I'm sure. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What about using the gym? Did I already try using the gym and the polearm and returning the polearm? No. That doesn't do anything. And what? Yep. Yeah. We haven't used the pole arm on anything either. Let's examine this pole arm. What kind of pole arm? Dirty stone helver. A lot of weight to it. A lot of weight. 
I could probably use it in place of that falcon to hold that ma uh, machinery down. But it won't let me. I wonder why we couldn't just use the uh, chain spell on the falcon thing to hold it down. That's a good point. It worked for opening up the well. Do you think they actually thought of that? I don't know. I don't think we need to go back there anyway. Yeah, I'm hoping not. The only thing left in that room is death and a falcon. Yep. I hope I don't need the falcon for anything else. All right, let's wander. Somebody's gonna watch this video. Somebody who's seen the or uh, played this game, and they're they're just screaming at us right now. They're just like, "What you fools! It's right there!" Didn't we take the falcon back? It's just the only thing in the room the falcon unlocks is the snakes. Well, I I went back in there because I wasn't sure. I I wanted to make sure, so I I put the falcon back to check again. Thing is, this is so stark. This is such a, a dead end without whatever key is necessary. What does it say if we examine it? The gate here is locked. No, no puzzles, no riddles, just a big old keyhole. Take the gate. Take everything. Take the floor. It's... The mean thing about this is it's so simple. Like it's it's just a simple lock and key. There's no there's no dodging yep. around it. There's no thinking about it. You you need to find a key to open this lock. End of story. Uh, yeah, if only there was some chain so we could use chain. Yeah. DC, I took your suggestion. I tried Alakazam or the Open Sesame. No go. Yep. Surely not chain. No, not chain either. Yeah, so yeah there's it, no chain. That, that's true. That's what I was saying. It might do something with the Falcon thing because there was a chain there. Um. Wait, what is that? Is that anything? The gate lock is here? Oh, yeah, those do kind of look like keyholes up there, but I... No, I think it's decoration. I think they're just texture. God damn it. Okay, now I'm getting upset with this thing. Um, uh, Polypheme is feet only? Yeah, it's feet only. We tried it without it, and it just beams you into the desert to die. Whoops. Oh, I see. I can walk from behind you, but not in front of you. Stupid hypocritical monster. <laughs> yep. I could try sneaking into the boulder again just to die. I crave death. I crave the sweet release of oblivion. Or I'm just frustrated. Have we tried digging out this area during the day when the boulder's not too hot? No. Maybe no? There's a shovel. Oh, yes. I said no meaning yes. Ah, uh, gotcha. So the whole point of this, I think, this is just the decoration of 
the meteor, but we got the meteor shard and nothing to do with it. Yep. It feels so weird that they have it glow every night. Like there's something important to do with it. It might be a thing of, um... Okay, so the meteor shard also glows at night. So it might be a uh, way, a clue as to what to do with the meteor shard. Yeah. Hi, cat. She's about to jump into my lap and get in my way. That is all right. I could annoy her, but, or I could, actually I could put the, she's purring. I could put the... I don't know if you can hear yep. her purring. Yeah, I could hear it. All right, there we go, cat. Are you happier now? I think she turned down my volume somehow. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, cat. Thank you. God damn it! I can't control anything. I can't control my facial expressions. She, her, she's in the way of my arm. Now she's going after my peanuts. All right, cat. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Christ yeah, Almighty. Yeah, you don't want a cat blowjob. They're a bit prickly. Cats don't know not to use teeth. That's probably some well, kind they also, of. They also use a cat's tongue, so that's oh, not good ouch. either. And those have teeth, I think. Probably. The gods, Jasper. What is a Jasper? I think it's a gem. Oh, cool. We've hit a roadblock. A significant roadblock. Yep. Have we done much with the uh, the tomb entrance at night? I don't know how much we've done at night. Yeah, I was hoping something would change at nighttime. You try offering it the meteor shard at night or something? That's a thought. I'm not sure if that's something that I've ever done. That doesn't work. Yeah, I didn't expect much. But now if I examine the meteor shard, it should be hot and full of power. Okay, never mind. A thing. Dang. It's just, it's fallen from space and that's all you get. Yep. Um... Uh, someone needs to knock the color out of space out of that meteor. I don't think you th that means what you think it means. I mean, it's purple, so... That is the color out of space, isn't it? I thought it was, like, pink? I don't know, I haven't seen the uh, new movie. Is there an old movie of <laughs> color out of space? Purr. <laughs> there might have been an indie one where... It was black and white. Oh yeah, you could get away with color. That, that space would have been a really good way of. Oh yeah, I, that would have been a really good way of doing it. Actually, having a black and white movie and the only color is the color out of space would have been a good way to do it. Yeah. Um. This place hasn't changed at night. How about the gate? Does the gate change at night? Question. Doesn't look like it. This gate is so mean. It's like, it's not fancy. It doesn't come with its own poetry. 
Nothing. Yeah. I feel, I, I really do feel like we're, I feel like we're missing something with the tune. I, like, we have the clue, and and we don't know how to use it. It's gotta be, right? It's just gotta be. So what was found in the uh, the chest? I think the third scroll and the Bethany stone. Yep. I don't even remember where I got the blue key now. Well, do we want to give in and get get a walkthrough? Because I'm at I'm I'm at my wits end now. I don't have any ideas either, and it sounds like DC's also out. She's she's so out of it. She's purring. Look at her. Hidden gem will not tempt the odd keeper. From abandoning its post to protecting the what remains of our dear king. What if we put the gem back in the box? I can't remember if I've tried that or not. We tried putting it on the ground near the king. I'm so out of it, I'm looking up a walkthrough. Okay. I've only found them in video form, which is why I haven't looked at them. Nope. Eh. The chest is empty, but it could be full. No. Hmm. Alfalfa clearing. Isn't yep. alfalfa, is that alfalfa in the distance? Can smell the sea breeze and lush flowers. In such a doomed land, you're glad to see that, what na that nature can thrive. Hey, uh, Doom Lad, do you think love can bloom even out on the alfalfa clearing? <laughs> Sorry, Graham, but I'm gonna have to uh, turn you down. Aww. You're not a woman. I could be. Um, there's the sunrise. I just realized the sun is rising through this. Like, do we have to wait for the sun to rise in this for something to happen? Okay, there's the sunrise. Let's o'clock this bitch. Nope, there's definitely still a sun through that window. I got nothing. Yep. Do I? Do I have to use the Blothany skull, uh, gem on that window? I mean, that seems like a pretty logical conclusion, right? So that sun can go through it. This rock through has the yeah. fourth key, but still hasn't gotten to the tomb. Okay, so the fourth key isn't in the tomb. Good to know. What about, um... God, now that's got me guessing how to get, like, the fourth key. I'm trying to think of any other place that we haven't scrounged through. Because right now, there's to me, there's only, like, the two mysteries left. The gate and this tomb. And the uh, one room in the tower that we couldn't get down to. Yeah, that's true. So we got... This room in the tower, huh? If we look down there, it just says there are skulls in there. Yep. And 
didn't actually think so. Have we ever tried to use the lantern down there? Although the lantern, again, I think it's something that goes over a thing. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's an item you don't have yet to get into the tomb. Okay, so no more wasting my time doing that then. So now it's a question of where do we go next? Because the gate is what I'm thinking of. Also, thank you, DC. So... Hmm. So the monastery looked like it was tapped out. Huh, okay, that's enough of a hint for me. Thank you, DC. Why and how? There's a hollow space between this wooden plank. It's secured in place, but you think you can pry it open. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> I mean, I would have thought Saber for that. Yeah, you jam the polar into the crack and pull back. The plank quickly cracks and become and comes away from the wall. Oh, that's a new passage. Yeah, it's a narrow gap wide enough that you can fit through it. Okay, let's look at the skulls first. Morbid cubby hole directly beneath the tower. The air reeks of death. Okay, it won't let me look at this thing that's a uh, sure let's grab it ah hey we found the scorpion yep your yep. scorpion emerges it's friendly oh he's got a skull for a head that sure that's that's a friendly move right um let's examine him real quick giant scorpion it sits but it's poised to strike Do you, do you want some fruit? Okay, I know I should be terrified right now, but look at those adorable eyes! <laughs> yeah. Alright, the massive scorpion bears down on you and pierces your body with its claws and fangs. Didn't even say ye claw. Hey, we have a weapon? Yeah, but those things are useless. Fruit is more likely to work. Child's <laughs> last hide. Oh god, that's morbid. <laughs> The poison, poison yeah. courses through you, paralyzing your body as the scorpion devours you. Well, at least it got a good meal. I mean, it's probably been there for centuries. Let's try using the saber, not the polearm. Nope. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We'll use the polearm. It's just so inelegant. Yeah, but it has 10 foot reach. Well, that didn't matter. <laughs> okay, 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 so. <laughs> you think it'll, you think we can lure it to sleep with a flute? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting a, a little bit of enjoyment out of doing this over and over again. It, it is 12 midnight. Uh, we gotta surprise it from somewhere else in the tower. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah! Uh, the thing above. Right! into a room with a bunch of skulls. You can see the giant scorpion from above. Hey! Oh, we figured it out. <laughs> okay. With a mighty yell, you plunge the polearm downwards into the scorpion's body. The creature roars and thrashes as it dies. That's that's amazing, actually. Ew. That's a, that's gross right there. Also, there's the key. Well. There's a key on the ground. It's covered in slime. Before you pocket it, you shake off some of the blood and pus from it. It's not pus. Pus is made out of uh, white blood cells. I doubt very much that there was many bit blo uh, white blood cells in that scorpion. There's a wooden mask on the ground. 
It's a child's mask. Oh, wow. This got really, really dark really fast. Oh. A wooden tribal mask used by a child when playing games. This completely hides the wearer's face. That, that might come in handy. Are you going to take the pull arm back? Good question. Can I? You can't take that. No, I won't. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, nope. I can't take it anymore. It served its purpose, and we all know that pull arms were one-use items only. Yep. Well, now we have the key for the gate. Child's last hide, after all. Yeah, the last hide. Oh, shit, this guy. I gotta <laughs> take another two hours that to go guy. around him. Okay. Use this key on this door. It fits perfectly and the gate unlocks. Open says me. I get the feeling we're going to see oh, that there woman are again. Clothes. Yeah. The tapestry on the wall tells a story. Uh, your turn. The one who would become king in his wanderlust traveled to this land aeons ago in hopes to build a righteous kingdom from such. First origins, using the power hurled from heaven, he challenged calamity and clutched two celestial rocks with a mighty roar. The manticore, torn in anger, set a beam of blazing hellfire upon the hero. With unwavering poise, he stood as the two shards absorbed the might of the terrible light and shattered, breaking the curse. Thus began a new friendship and the quest for the throne. Okay, okay, so we have two celestial rocks. We have a meteorite, yep. and we have the uh, Blethany Stone. Yep. A trading post set inside a palace where merchants w would trade goods. There's a large tapestry on the wall. So this is the depot, right? This is where the dwarves gather up all their goods, like mugs. And yep. I don't know, what did you sell a lot of? I know uh, Quill18 does mugs, and I just did whatever the fuck I wanted. Anything made of rock, basically. Yeah, it's very, very dwarfy. Ooh, this place is fancy. Breathtaking yep. gatehouse where guests would gather and await an audience with the ruling Shah. Shah, Shah, Shah. Oh. Okay, I guess. We'll open it and go through. Well, something's glowing over here. There's an eerie magical glow coming from this direction. It looks dangerous. Well, only Maybe an it's it friendly. Only an idiot would go down those stairs, so I guess we better get moving. No. Nope. Well. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's year round. Give him a good voice. You should not have come here, human. The manticore unleashes dark magic that burns you to death. The end. If only we had two stones. My friend, you have met with a tragic fate. Um, I guess let's open up this door then. You cannot open that. What? Why not? This door is closed well, and there is no the, uh, lock. thing on the wall. This is true. The wall panel features a figure facing right. It looks to be... It looks like it can be turned by hand. What? <laughs> okay. Yep. There's a throne. The Shah would sit here. A glorious throne room with decorative gold work throughout. Uh, if we use the saber, how much of this gold do you think we can chip away? I can't, uh, I can't pick up the throne, which I guess makes sense. People in stone houses should not stow thrones. Nope. What else can we find around here? Glorious thrones with different gold. Hmm. 
That looks like a keyhole in the pillar to the left. I guess it does. Yeah. Yeah, there's a keyhole here surrounded with a gold trim, and I have a gold trim. Oh, key. I know which key to use on that. As you turn the key, the throne rises to reveal a suspicious looking mechanism. This mechanism looks suspicious. <laughs> turn is risen to reveal a strange mechanism. You can go take a closer look. Well, that, that sounds like. That sounds like a trap. Hey, Cross, welcome back. Tapestry, locky luck. The tapestry, look at it, and by it, or look at I, by it, I mean the tapestry slash. Huh. We're gonna ha go have to go hunting. It appears to be a giant clock, but with no hands, and an engraving of a cicada at the center. We have to go steal uh, fireflies. Yep. Yep. Although, maybe the fireflies. I only marked a couple of the fireflies, so. Uh, I remember where the one of the southern lands is. How do we get the fireflies, though? I got, a, I got an idea about that. fit the mask over your head. It conceals your face, but does not affect your vision at all. Okay, I was I was hoping that would work. I guess not. Can I examine self? It's you. You are wearing a mask. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Better smartass? Yes. Yes, very much. Um... Where can we go that the we will no longer be recognized by someone? We haven't really met anyone. Yeah, that's true. Just this guy. Let's talk to him. You shout all you want. It's not accomplishing anything. So, yeah, no, that's a good point, though. Let's take a look at that tapestry once again. Yeah. I almost went wandering into the water. That would have been funny. Yep. This time during the daytime. Okay, we need two celestial stones. I can actually see the meteor right here. Yep. With the green glow. Travel the land eons ago in hopes to build a righteous kingdom as such. Cursed origin. Using the power hurled from the heavens, he challenged the calamity and clutched the two celestial rocks. Two celestial rocks. I think I need another yep. celestial rock. I mean, the meteor shard seems like one, but maybe it isn't. Unwavering poise, he stood as the two shards absorbed the mighty, terrible light and shattered, breaking the curse. So I have one celestial shard. If we're going, like, straight up, then we need another meteor piece. Or another Blothany gem. Huh. Well, uh, I guess the Blothany gem is the cosmic one, not the celestial. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can't attack the uh, meteor with something. Although... Feel like a chisel or a hammer or something. Well, I have a sword. Okay, so maybe not. Let's use the abacus on it. No, um... <laughs> we've already tried the use shovel. the abacus to do its taxes. That's what it needs. 
The meteor came down to Earth to escape from the IRS, the Iridescent Revenue Service. Yep. We use the meteor shard on now, that wouldn't work. Horn note, falcon glove, lantern. Mm -hmm. What about... I still feel like going to collect the cicadas, but I don't know how to. And they only come out at night. Yep. Um, I wonder if it left a uh, shard somewhere else. Because we originally found the shard here. You want to try using the shovel on the... Uh... On the trench here? Oh, yeah. The trench has been left by the meteor. It slid across the ground after the impact. All right, let's see here. Shovel. No. Yeah. If only I could pick up the damn meteor and put it in my pocket. A lot of these things in my inventory are bigger than me. Like the lantern, I'm pretty sure, was the size of my head. Where am I storing that? Hey, got really good pockets. What was the deco plate? Oh, it's a large dining plate with many fancy jewels. Really? No. Yep. You get the second shard from the meteor at night. Well, it's something. Although, it looks to me like it has two holes in it. Yeah. Mm, we could use... So, it's hot right now. I wonder, you know, I could collect some water and pour it on it and see if that doesn't cause it to crack. Because suddenly cooling off a hot item will cause it to crack open sometimes. Yep. So you're going to fill the empty bottle with water? What? You should not be able to just take it. Bullshit! Bull I'm calling such shenanigans! <laughs> you decide to try and take the gem in the meteor... Your hand trembles as you reach out. The other gem in your hand glows as you grab its partner. The gem's resonant energy has protected you. You take the other meteorite shard. What's a, a, a absolute bullshit? <laughs> yeah, that that's the old good moon logic. I claim moon logic. By rights, I get like a cookie maybe a yeah, side of juice right. and a clown girl I deserve my own clown girl for having to go through that save real quick you have your own clown girl uh, I want another I guess I, had, I already have two wait are Go names not count as clowns Go goth clowns are clowns I mean mimes are clowns kind of like what are they what do we yeah. got Okay, now I gotta think about this. Hang on, we're gonna go to break. Uh, but before that, um, all right. So jesters are clowns, or are clowns jesters? Clowns came after jesters. Clowns are a relatively new invention that started in the 1800s, whereas jesters have been around longer. So clowns are jesters. I want another jester girl. Let's see here. Mimes. Like, the joke is that they're goth clowns, but in actuality, they're just kind of art cl art jesters. We need to make a tree of yep. definitions and categories for this. All right, all right. Everybody stretch and hydrate. <laughs> stretch and hydrate, everyone. Yep. <laughs> 